Yo, what's up everybody? It's Barbarisi from the Bronx. And me and little old Weedy B are in Central Park. It is a beautiful day outside. It is glorious out here. Grateful for another day to be alive. I'm surprised there's not many people in here today. So I just wanna let people know, um, you know, like I said, Chris told me that he was going to do this and he did show up. Now, it's not his fault. I'm not thinking anything, you know, malice. I don't think that anything was intentional. I don't think he purposely said that the internet wasn't working. I don't purposely, I always give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, he showed up. He even said his internet was down. So I noticed that people were unsubscribing to my channel because of that now look if you're gonna unsubscribe to me because something didn't work out the way that I thought it was then I don't know what to tell you man life is very unpredictable you know and I'm just grateful after all I survived I'm just grateful to be alive right now guys I'm just grateful to have to be here at this moment with my child running around you know, I haven't been feeling that good, honestly. I don't tell nobody because um, I'm, that's just not how I am. I don't like to say, oh, I've been getting palpitations. Oh, I've been getting chest pains, but I have been. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not just saying this. This is not a lie. This is the truth. I don't know if it's panic attacks or what, but, you know, it brings me to a, a, a troubled mindset to some degree because, you know, I survived a lot of stuff. And I pray to God that he doesn't let nothing happen to me where I leave my son behind. That is my biggest fear. My biggest fear is to have to leave my little weedy bee behind. And it just, it wouldn't make sense to me. You know, um, yesterday I didn't even feel my blood pressure that high. And that is very scary because usually I do. And the, when, the, when the nurse told the doctor, I heard them. When the nurse told the doctor, they all went, woo, like that. You know, to hear the doctors do that in the background is unsettling. And it's kind of unprofessional. But hey, look, it was very high. Even I was quite shocked. But I don't know if mine is stress related or I just don't know because I am able to do things um, that come here baby come here let me see you okay be careful be careful let me see let me see let me see you all right there's a we are we no boo boos no boo boos let me see oh baby no boo boos no boo boos no boo boos baby thank god it was on the grass you know, gotta be careful around here, so I'm following him. Um, be careful on the cobblestones, baby. So, you know, I can do things that I feel that if there was something really wrong with me, I wouldn't be able to go up a, a hill, a huge incline without being out of breath. I can do a lot of activities without being out of breath. But it seems to me that at night when I'm stationary, I, you know, it doesn't happen every night. But a lot of times I'll be laying in bed. Yay, my baby. I love him so much. I, I cry about it, guys, in private, not around him. And I have a right to. That's my son. I don't want to leave him behind. You know, I just want them Monday to find out what is going on with me. Give me the stress test. Tell me why. I'm having these, these issues. Why is my blood pressure so darn high when I'm on medication? And why am I getting chest pains and palpitations at night? When I'm active, I don't get nothing, you know? I don't get no problems. When I'm moving around, I don't have no issues. It's more or less when I'm not doing really much physical activity which is confusing. I maybe have some rare condition. I don't know. I don't know. I just hope to God that they find out what is wrong with me because, you know, like I said, I I'd never had a chance to be a mother to my other children and it was not fair. And now I'm here I am 
and I was doing the right thing with my first two children and all that shit happened to me. I wind up in the street, survived so much shit in my childhood, survived so much shit in the street, and now I'm doing really good and I gotta get health issues now? Like, come on, it just doesn't make sense, man. It doesn't make any sense to me. And I have my son, like, if I didn't have Weedy B, Weedy be careful, honey, be careful. Wait, let them pass. Okay, good boy. You know, if I didn't have Weedy B, it would be different, but I have my son, you know? And that's why it's minuscule that what happened yesterday. I'm worried about staying alive for my child. That's what I'm worried about. So, if, like I said, if people don't want to stick with me because of minuscule stuff, when I'm worried about the situation with my health and staying here alive for my son, well then, I don't need people like that in my life. I don't need it, and that's not a support system for me, and I'm just being real, so whatever. You know, this is my main concern. That's, that's just a, a plus and bonus. I'm here to show people that through a life of, of adversity, childhood abuse, dysfunction, moving around, school to school, parent to parent, place to place, home to home, okay, being out in the street, I'm here to show people that there is a life after addiction and a life after homelessness and prostitution. I'm here to prove that point, and that's what I'm here for. If there's other things that come around with it, like a bonus, like Chris, the one who did the documentary, for me to interview him, and you know he approves of it and and shows up, you know, and something goes away, then that's just life for you. But I'm not gonna be worried. I can't worry about that. That's not important to me. What's important to me is staying stress-free and healthy for my son. So, and showing people that there is life, a positive life after addiction and now health issues. And now health issues, scary health issues because your heart, you need your heart to live. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, uh, you know, come on. This isn't a joke. This is serious. My son needs me. So, like I said, everyone who has been supportive to me, thank you. Everybody who has been kind to me, thank you. I appreciate all of you. But if I'm going to get dissed and people are going to criticize because of something like that, that I have no control over, then good riddance. That's what I have to say. So thank you guys, everyone who has supported me. God bless you all. And uh, hopefully tonight it goes as planned. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Then don't watch me no more. That's all I have to say. God bless you all. Jesus loves you. And thank you everyone for your prayers. And this is what matters. My baby. That's what matters. The interview is just a bonus. All right, guys. God bless. Ciao.